Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode of Pikmin. Previously, we went down to the Forest of Hope, got a ton of ship parts, and I lost a ton of Pikmin because they don't want to grab on the board. Today, we're going to be going to the Forest Nable, the new area we have just collected, or we have just acquired from increasing our ship's capabilities. Forest Nable is our next area we can go to to collect ship parts and have fun. Our game plan for today is that we're going to be... Uh, blowing up some uh rock walls just so we can actually get some new areas to do and i mean that in the nicest way so right now we can actually uh gather 10 yeah 10 pikmin we can just uh go to this area here and we can actually um get a bunch of rock pikmin this area has at max 10 uh, bomb rocks as you can see go do that i should have just done that with the one you know all right so usually how this works is that you're supposed to have uh, yellow pigment work on this to make the stick go up and you could just drop pigment in there to grab bomb rocks and one thing I know about this game that I really like, but that I don't know that in three is that if you throw a rock Pikmin, then they're not near any enemy or any wall. They won't throw them. I don't know if, they, if that's a thing in three. If that's a thing in three, that's pretty cool. But I don't know. You don't need the stick to make movement. You could just do that. Throw the pigment up there and you'll collect them. Yeah, no more. Okay. They're not giving you more because you can actually just uh, open up the uh, the way with the stick to uh, make movement. Also, um, say it previously, if I do go a little quiet, I'm trying to concentrate and think of a backup plan for what I want to do. So... Hopefully my commentary is not as shoddy because I will I will say this right now from day four onward. Um, this is actually a second recording of the entirety of the LP for um, Pikmin. I have actually recorded this entire LP and I did not like my commentary in the first part. You're, you're your own worst critic. That's what people say. But uh, there are times where I usually always stay quiet because of like me concentrating so much that i don't make commentary and i usually go back into a habit of speaking very quietly when i try to do something so right now we can actually do that's way too much run away <laughs> that was a bad idea really bad idea let's do Two more. Do two more, then we can actually. Oh god. That's one Pikmin down. That's why you also gotta pay attention to uh, your bomb rocks to see where it happens because it's not good. Alright, so. If you don't uh, have your Pikmin in a good area like that, you have to take the long way back, which is this. And usually it's not that bad. I have all nine Pikmin just sitting there, all nine yellows just sitting there for now. Also, Pikmin actually uh, hog uh, Nectar to themselves. So if you actually want to uh, give Nectar to Pikmin, if you just have one Pikmin sitting there, they'll usually just... Uh, they'll usually just uh, take it for themselves and it kind of sucks. But if you remind yourself about that, you won't be in too much trouble. We have gotten up to 30% of the day done of the little kerfuffle I just did. But right now I'm just going to put all my yellows back. We're going to be grabbing our reds and we're going to be making more progress with the reds today. 63. Okay, let's do that. 
I don't think I'm gonna lose all that Pikmin today. I really don't. But I think I might lose them for a couple things within the Force Naval. All right, Force Naval. One of the things in this game, or one of the things people remember the Force Naval for, is that if you're building a bridge, um, if there's a Pikmin under the bridge, they'll be pushed through the floor, causing them to die without doing anything. And it sucks. It really does. And that's a thing in the original Pikmin as well, back on GameCube. But I think it's more prevalent on the Wii version because most of the times I've been playing this game and from the previous recording of this LP, I really do gripe about a uh, the glitch in this game. Pikmin can just die through the dumbest things in this game. But the dumbest is that they can do everything perfectly they can kill and they can defeat an enemy and bring it back to base, but you'll still lose four Pikmin because they went under the enemy when it was doing its, its animation of defeated. And it makes no sense. Like it makes zero sense that that would happen. And usually that's like my reason to, I would just say, if you want to play Pikmin, go on the GameCube or just if you're wanting to play Pikmin, just be careful because that glitch will mess you up. We're in a new area and we get to deal with new enemies. Fiery Blowhogs. These are the type of enemies that will shoot fire at Pikmin. And as you saw, red Pikmin are resistant to fire, meaning we can actually just not deal with it. So we can usually just leave a, uh, a squad of reds just defending for themselves against a uh, uh, fire rohog. Also new enemy in the mix, sheer wigs. These type of enemies are sheer grubs that just, yeah, that just like get the, the ability to fly. If they take enough damage, they'll start flying into the air to like heal up. They can also just like fly above water, and if they fly above water, they'll just uh, lose health consistently. Also, I've been losing a lot of health by the goddamn fire. I should really get to the, uh, the dolphin to heal. All right, let's just do that. Let's just bring all these pigmen back. Since it's just, uh, yeah, this is just like a uh, fire blow hog. I'll just, oh, where is the uh, thing I want to open up? I'll do that and then I'll just open up the rest with a uh, blue. I think we're not going to get it this much. Yep. Okay, so let's just go here. Open this up. Come on. Also, there's a joke in this game within like a community I'm in. And I'm not going to make that joke because it's not that it's stale. It's more like everyone knows who the fuck that thing is. Take him back. Take him back. Take his lunch money. So, go to this little area here. And we get another onion. So, I will say this. This is our final one in the game. Three areas in. And we get our final pigment type. So. Come on. Say hello to a blue Pikmin. I love them. It is a Pikmin of yet another color. Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter the water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. If I just hold it and choose it to swap it out and issue the commands. Blue Pikmin are the only Pikmin in the game that are... Amphibious. They're amphibious, meaning they can actually uh just deal with the water. And it's really good to see that. Also, this piece of shit is literally evading my grass ever so often. That's funny. So uh come on, come on. Okay, I got three more polyposies here of blue. One, two, three. There we go. 
God damn it, guys. All right, so right now we're just trying to get more blue pigment and we're almost out of, uh, not technically time. We can get the next part. We can get the next part we need just to do, uh, do that. Where's the part? It's being brought back again. Hopefully, we can actually get that. Come on, come on. Do it for now. I'll leave the uh, blues there. We can grab my reds to go grab our ship part for today. So we can actually get something done. Ah, they did get him. It's just there's not enough Pikmin to take it. That's why he's been there. Thank goodness my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot who lacks skills at swimming in space. Ah, okay. So that's why they didn't grab it back. Because I know I have a bunch of Pikmin just uh, working on the, the thing. And I should be able to go back and grab them. That little enemy right here that had the space float is called a bread bug. Bread bugs are scavenger type enemies that just go after um, pellets, enemies, they'll just take it back to their base. And it's pretty funny. Alright, let's do that. Grab these Pikmin, make them work on this bridge while they're putting back these space float back on the ship. Ugh. Space float. Unless a swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but... My motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I've now recovered seven out of three ship parts. If I can just find five more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. But yeah. They got a new ship part today. And I can actually get a new one today as well because there's only fiery blowhogs on the screen. We can just make it to this one right here. Uh, bridge is, bridge is done. That is done, but we can actually do that. Let them go grab that. <laughs> They're not dying from that's funny. Yeah, you, you can just see like the fire blowhog trying its best to deal damage to these Pikmin. And they're not doing anything because it's like that. I found the atomic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes spiraling much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. So yeah. Oh, these two. Okay. There we go. We need more Pikmin on this one. Let's grab uh, the pigment that were on the uh, the uh, fire blowhogs way to just bring them back to base. Come on. Also, be careful on the force handle because they can actually uh, throw the fire blowhogs and actually throw the pigment into the water, which is not a good thing. Let's do that. Okay. What the fuck? It chirped into the ground. Okay. Come on, come on. We got another gear part down. We got another ship part down, and I've been not getting a blue Pikmin because I've been taking all the fucking sh things for myself. Atomic gear has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be all right. So yeah. Uh, because of like it fell down the uh, the area, it's just there. Can I actually take back the uh, the one I want with blues? Do I have enough blues for a fire blow hog rescue? I have six. We do not. That sucks. I'll just make them grab up uh, posies. Fair now. All right, so let's do that. We are not done with the day yet, but we we are almost done with uh, scavenging for today. One and two. Good, they grabbed it. They grabbed the individual ones, not the ones I wanted them to. Also, because like uh, we have the blue onion still in the water, we can have we cannot have a uh, the red pigment help them out because. Since the blue Pikmin are the only ones who are able to swim, they can actually uh, grab. They can go to the water and they just die. Oh yeah. 
We got more reds today. We actually, I think we're punished a good amount of reds today. Let's just go here. Deal with this. There you go. Yeah, we, we're gonna deal with that. We got two pigment left that are on the onion. So they're safe for now. Let's just see if we can flower any pigment. So uh, we did our game plan decently. Well, we got enough. Uh, we got two ship parts today. We got a brand new pigment, but we didn't get enough of that pigment type. So tomorrow might be a grinding day just for blues. Not bad, but it could have been better. Probably tomorrow if I do fight any more fire blowhawks, I might just give it to the blues. Make them go forward. I also want to grab more stuff, but yeah. Not bad though. Two ship parts today. We got the bread bug down. We got the space float and the uh, the gear. So we are fine for today. Zero. So with the day completed, another day is down in our notebook and hopefully we can make more progress tomorrow. So, did we lose any Pikmin today? Hopefully not because the blues are in their onion. Okay, good. Four days since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I counted blue Pikmin. These blue fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, starving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me even in this alien land. So, we got more Pikmin there. We have gotten uh, 19. 19 blues. Yeah, I need to start working on my blues right now. But yeah, we have brought 64 Pikmin. We have lost one in battle and we have just gotten more Pikmin to do. We've gotten two ship parts today and we're missing 22 ship parts with 26 cities remaining in our uh, life support. This was a really good day, other than just me not sprouting blue pigment. Okay, so next time on Pikmin, we're going to be going back to the forest naval, growing up our blue population and making more progress in the forest naval. Thank you for joining me today and hope you all have a wonderful day.